Hello everybody. Today I want to tell you a few things that were happening around Christmas in the, the village on the old days. My early days. Well, of course, uh, we had to fast for 40 days, uh, which was not very easy for us kids. But anyway, Christmas Day, we had to go to church to receive communion because we night before mother will give us bath dress us in the morning and uh, wear our christening crosses and go to our relatives around the village especially Nano in Una to kiss the hand and ask for, for forgiveness and the blessings then we go to church or receive communion and come home, change our clothes and go play. But the days before Christmas, we would, uh, they would slaughter a pig, the pig that they have been raising since, since summer. In the summer, we would buy a pig, a piglet, uh, in one of the panigiria, either Cochina or Ayarmola, the 26th of July, and bring it home, and they tied the rope to his, one of his front feet so he wouldn't get out. And uh, they put it someplace so he, he can ro run around and uh, feed it uh, until Christmas. Now, pigs are like chickens that eat anything, drink anything. So, the pig now became our garbage disposal. So they feed the pig until a few days before Christmas. And then uh, my father and his friends, two or three of them, one of them was a butcher, like he knew how to slaughter the pig. They come early in the morning. My mother had a big pot of boiling water and they slaughtered the pig and uh, they start hang it up under a tree and to start uh, processing it. Uh, you know, even the blood didn't go away because the chickens would come around or the cats. Some would come out and eat the blood that was running down. Uh, they, they, uh, uh, the skin, uh, it's not like uh, the lamb that you can pull it off. This one, they had to cut it off, like shave it underneath it. Uh, the skin, um, a lot of the people are, uh, later on, like uh, they would uh, uh, put some salt in it and hold it and uh, uh, sell it to Tabaj, the guy who was processing skins. Uh, in the early days, they would um, put the salt in it and, and keep it and cut it in pieces and make shoes, Cervulia. The name was Cervulia. And uh, they would wear those in the, in the summer. Anyway, um, I, th I think I remember that Cervulia very well. I think I was, I did wear one summer one of those. I don't exactly remember. Uh, then when they, after they hang it, the first thing they take out of the pig, is the sicoti, the liver. The women take that the liver and cut it into small pieces, clean it, and fry it. Uh, and have it ready. The uh, once once they uh, take all the the insides out, the men uh, will go, will go have a little of the uh, the liver and it, a drink, a uzo. Then they go to the next next neighbor and do the same thing. Of course, we kids uh, were waiting for the leftovers of the sicotti. Yeah, we loved that thing. And uh, of course, our main interest for the pig was the, uh, the bladder. Once they take the bladder out, we would take it and uh, rub it and, uh, in, in the uh, in sand, or wherever to loosen up the muscles around it 
So, and then we tie one end and then blow air on the other end and tie it. And that was our soccer ball. And we played with that one a couple of times, but boy, he stunk. Anyway, well, nothing is wasted from the pig. The same thing on the chickens, nothing's thrown away. Uh, the tail uh, is used, the feet are used when they cut out, they uh, put them in boiling water and they take, they clean them, they shave them like, and then the, uh, t the hoofs come out, uh, the ears, the jaw, uh, the whole head, they boil it and they take the meat out and uh, they put spices and I know the main thing is garlic and they boil it and become uh, like a soup uh, and uh, that's patsas, they call patsas. Some people love patsa, some people hate patsa. And even now in Greece there's restaurants that uh, like holes in the wall, and that, that's all they sell, patsas. You walk up on the window and they said, and give you a patsa. Uh, they have a special, the Saloniki have their own recipe. Uh, Athens had their own recipe, because then they nobody. And all the other places, patsas. And they usually serve it or they eat it early in the morning. Like people were out all night long, they stop and eat patsas before they go home. Well, in the afternoon, father come back and they start the processing. They, they, uh, the intestines, they keep them and uh, they make uh, lucanico, sausage. We had a special machine, hand crank machine, that was grinding the meat and the spices together and a special uh, uh, nozzle at the end of it that would push the uh, uh, the hamburger or the minced meat into the intestines, and that would be locanico. I don't know how long we kept it, but I know there was a lot of salt in that, and it cured it, so it will last some time. Then the rest of the pig, they cut it in small pieces and uh, uh, stir fry it tried to melt all the fat from it uh, and then they put a lot of salt and put it in cans, uh, maybe five, six gallon cans and a lot of salt and on top of it they put the uh, uh, the fat and that's kavurma. I don't know if it's Turkish well, it's kavurma and that kept. We had it, I was meat uh, supply for the winter. They, they, they cook it with uh, winter vegetables, uh, uh, potatoes, uh, celery, leeks, uh, all that vegetables that were available in, in the winter. Also, they would uh, uh, fry it again, small pieces, and make an omelette. And that's Kavurma omelette. Delicious. Uh, so these are the things that they were, it was happening around Christmas in the village. Okay, everybody, have a good, uh, good day. Love you all. Bye-bye.